As many of you may know, Zeekers made a patch that pretty much took away the ability to drop the man eater down in belt room or throw him down an elevator shaft because now he just teleports back up. However, there still are many ways around this, and so in this video, I'm going to show you all the updated little trick spots to just easily kill the man eater, but also a few chat ways to kill the man eater without cheesing him. This first method involves dropping a shovel to make the man-eater cry and shoving a door in its face and then hitting it on cooldown. Um, this method was found by Cynic, and so I'm going to link his video in the description because he deserves as much credit for this as possible. But here's an example of how we're doing this. For those of you who like to mash your keyboard, this strategy involves using a door and just closing the man-eater out by spamming E. And here's what this is going to look like. Basically, the man-eater will aggro and you're just going to spam E on the door. Just like that. Obviously, if you're a better keyboard masher than me, you're going to be able to hit it like two times in between the breaks, or maybe just do like hitting it twice also while you're spamming the door. Uh, I'm not skilled enough to do this, but you guys have fun with this method. This next method involves using a knife and killing the man eater on its first cooldown, and also using somewhat of a long hallway to just bait its dash. So here's what we're going to do we're going to go ahead. Stab the man eater. Aggro it. And then just go kill it on cooldown. And the man eater can only kill you when it's in its attack. So being inside of it while it's on its cooldown or while it's charging its attack, you're fine. But when it's actually dashing at you, it's not okay to be colliding with it. Here's a free kill in belt room, so as many of you may know, he patched this spot where you can just drop it off. When you drop the man eater here, yes, he will go down there, but after some time he'll just teleport back up and you'll have an adult man eater chasing after you. So instead, what you're going to do, is you're going to shake the man eater, or make him angry in your hands, and you're going to crouch and put your hands in the corner of this. And when the man-eater turns, as you'll see in a second here, to its adult form, it'll be stuck. From here, you can just hit it five times. The next spot in the factory interior is the app room. All you will do is go right up to the top of the app and look up and drop it. And he will now be in the ceiling. Please note that this is only temporary because he will teleport out and you can't actually hit him through the ceiling. So I don't recommend the use of this one. With this type of apparatus tile where it's on the right wall, you can actually jump up here and drop him and he'll be stuck here and you can kill him. Just remember that the other apparatus tile, you won't be able to hit him. Using security doors still works so you can make the baby cry and shove your hands through a security door. And then when it transforms to its adult form, you can hit it five times. Just like that. You can also do the same for any locked door. If you look straight at a locked door, preferably a dead end one, you can trap the man eater behind the locked door and never have to deal with it. And of course, killing it is optional here because it's not going to bother you unless you unlock this door. For the mansion, you can still use the circle tables if they are like this one, where it's like partially in a bookshelf, like in the wall where it would normally hop off. Because uh, normally the man eater hops off opposite of the chair, but for some reason it can't when it's in the wall of the bookshelf. Other circle tables that don't have this, uh, the man eater will walk right off. So you can use these tables. And you can test it by just walking away and seeing that it's not going to walk off. But your other bet is just to go onto the 
railing here with the baby. Drop it on the railing. And hit him five times. There you go. Make sure that you use the left railing here. Because the right railing can be a little inconsistent. For the mineshaft interior, you can still drop the baby down the elevator shaft. However, it'll teleport back up and kill you. So, realistically, this isn't a method you can use anymore. Putting the man-eater in the elevator and sending up to main, if fire is close, is a good option. Because then you can just transfer everything through the fire exit that you have. Um, and... Putting the man-eater through locked doors, not unlocked doors like this one, similar to how you did on the factory tile, works for the mansions and the mine shafts. So you can put them through doors and then hit them through it or just leave them in the locked room. Here I will just give a quick recap of all the places that you can get the man-eater stuck on the exteriors of the moons that the man-eater spawns on. Just remember that now you have to kill it with a shovel. If you don't kill it with a shovel in these stuck spots. See, he doesn't like the shovels. If you don't kill it with the shovel in its stuck spot, then it will teleport out after some time. So just make sure to drop your shovel before these stuck spots, near the stuck spot, and then get the man-eater stuck and kill it. Hit it five times. Another thing I almost forgot to mention, host and client can do these stuck spots. However, you can't have anyone else near the stuck spot when you're doing this trick because if the man-eater switches aggro during its transformation, it will teleport out of the spot instead of getting stuck in the wall. So please make sure when you're making the man-eater transform, no one else is around in line of sight of the man-eater. Now I will be going over all the closest spots to get the man-eater stuck on the exteriors at any exit for all the moons that the man eater spawns on. So here we're going to start with Assurance main entrance. We are going to go out, and you got to be quick with this because he's crying. Anytime you drop, it will drop you out of his hand, so you got to pick him back up. So after you, he, you drop, pick him up, bring him to this left corner, and wait for him to turn to adult, and he'll be stuck. Next one is the Assurance fire exit here. Going to do the same thing when we drop down. It's going to drop out of our hands so we gotta pick him back up then go to this weird looking rock and drop him he will fall in the rock and be stuck for Val main entrance you're going to exit and run to the right from here you'll just hug the side of the dam drop down here and once you land here you're just gonna drop him he'll be stuck in the wall there for the fire exit on Val, it's pretty similar you're just gonna exit but instead you're gonna go to this wall right here and just wait for him to turn by putting your hands inside the wall. Then he'll be stuck there. For offense main entrance, you're going to exit, go immediately to the left, pick up the baby when you drop, and then just go ahead and throw him in the rock here. So if we go up the rock a bit, we can just drop him in. If the rock isn't there, you do something similar where you go into that corner and you wait for him to turn, holding him, and then when he turns into his adult form in your hands, he will just be stuck in the wall. The offense fire exit is pretty simple. You're just going to exit right here and just wait for him to turn while looking slightly up into this. When he turns, he will be stuck on top. But he can also get stuck inside of it. All the march spots are fairly simple. For main entrance, you're going to go out and run to the right. And all you're going to do is just jump and drop him into the wall. Then he's stuck. For the fire exit right next to main, you're going to exit right over here to the right of the fire exit. And just drop them through the wall like you did with the main entrance. For the fire exit that is to the left when you exit the ship, you're going to run out. And as quick as you can, get on top of this hill. And once you're on top, just drop the baby. And it will be stuck up here. Won't be able to get out. And for the last March Fire exit, the one behind the ship, behind all the mountains, you will just go out and drop him right where you are. He can't get off this ledge. 
And when he's in the adult form, you can still enter and exit fire exit perfectly fine. Just when exiting, you need to run off as quickly as possible. For adamants, you're just going to exit main, run over here to the left, and wait for the baby to turn. For the adamants fire exit, you're going to run out, you're going to jump off this, and when you drop the baby, pick him back up. And you're going to go over to this rock here and just drop him. He'll be stuck on the rock. For dying main entrance, you're going to exit, go immediately to the right, and just jump and drop him here. He'll be in the wall. The dying fire exit is using the exact same strategy, but you're going to run out. You're going to go off the ledge here. When you drop, make sure to pick him back up. And then throw him in the wall. Same exact way. And last but not least, for Artifice main entrance, you're just going to run to the left as quick as you can, and you're going to look into the corner here by the fire exit and wait for the baby to turn. Once it turns into its adult form, it'll be stuck in the wall. And the fire exit for Artifice is the exact same strategy. Exit, go to the right, and just look in the corner and wait for it to turn, similar how you did the main.